Dusty Vanderson presents Tomiko. Yo, what's up, guys? We're back with another Cars review of Tomiko. Now, I know it's been a while since like, my last upload, but I've just been extremely busy, y'all. But I promise that uploading schedule will go back. My uploading routine will go back, so don't worry. I'm not going away. Dusty Vanderson won't be going away for a while, I promise. So to start off, I, I thought of a good card to review for you guys I just got in the mail today, which is Tamiko. Now this is the purple geisha that was seen during the Tokyo party scene. I'll have a picture of her in the beginning of the video. Um, Tamiko, she's just like Okuni and Shigeko, who have been released many, many times. Except she's purple, whereas Okuni's orange and Shigeko's blue. And one thing that makes her very unique is she has this umbrella right here, which is kind of like... Kind of reminds me of that umbrella you get on with a margarita or so, which is like an alcoholic beverage from Mexico. I don't know, it kind of looks like one of those umbrellas. It's kind of funny. Um, she rolls really, really smoothly, unlike my Akuni Shigeko. They don't roll too smoothly, but I'm waiting what this one does. You're probably wondering how I got this, because this is a pretty rare car. I got it from a Chinese seller for $20. It originally was released in a five-pack exclusive to Toys R Us in 2011. It was like $22, but I thought it'd be released as a single, single so... I didn't get it, but luckily I do have it now. She's got like a purple dress around her with these orange flowers. And her expression, I want to say it's a little bit different than the Kunin Chigeko's. I really like the purple wheels, it looked really nice. And she has this, uh, what I like about these gauges is these like hair pins right here. It kind of sticks out. It really gives it character. I'm really glad that Mattel added that feature. and. Also, um, another possible appearance of Shigeko with, with her having the umbrella is um, right before the beginning of the Tokyo race, it's, uh, Brent says, Land of the Rising Sun, and you see her on a bridge, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's really all there is to say about this car. It's a really cool car. I highly recommend you get it for your collection, and um, yeah, very, very nice. Um, oops, sorry. Very... I really recommend you get it for your collection, even though it's kind of expensive. So that's all for this review, and I'll see you next time. Sign off.